Welcome to Perfect Guardian and I'll tell you alternative treatments for dengue fever. Now, the first thing, how you can treat it. The best treatment for this infection disease with no medical cure might lie in nature. Dengue fever is a problem that just does not seem to want to go away in Malaysia and India too. And even worse, it seems to be escalating. The latest report from the health ministry states that as of March 22, both the number of cases and deaths nationwide for the year have increased by 340% compared to the same period of last year. Now, the problem comes when dengue hemorrhagic fever develops. Now, I'll come straight to the conclusion. With no definitive treatment from modern medicine available, it is not surprising that many have turned to alternative therapies for relief. On the top of the list is papaya leaf juice. This is probably the most well-known alternative treatment for dengue. Several small scientific studies have been carried out in dengue anemic countries like India and Malaysia, looking into the efficacy of this herbal remedy. While the results, results cannot be said to be definitive, due to their small study size, they are certainly promising. The main effect of the juice lies in raising the levels of platelets in dengue patients, a critical aspect of this viral infection. Now, the open label randomized control trial published in evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine last year had a total of 228 participants recruited from the hospital's dengue ward divided almost equally between the control group and the juice group. Now, the second thing is Tawa Tawa. This herby, hairy herb, is commonly used in the Philippines as an alternative treatment for dengue fever. Also known as Gatas Gatas or by its scientific name Ipur Bia Hirta, it is said to increase the platelet levels in dengue patients. In 2012, animal study conducted by pharmacy students from the University of Santo Tomas, Manila, so that a Detoxation of Tawa Tawa had indeed increased platinate levels and increased breeding time in rats with induced thromocytopenia. Now, there are few traditional Chinese medicine too. Like the acupuncturist and Chinese physician notes that because of the vagueo symptoms of dengue fever, most people are only diagnosed with the disease about 4 days after the fever starts. Now, TCM therapy at that stage consists of herbal concoction based on the formulation called Quinven by 2 san This helps to clear the plague and detox the body. Patient, patients have to take one dose daily for three days. If their platelet levels are still low by the end of the period, then they would be preferred to hospital for further management. Now, whereas Ayurvedic medicine is uh, re, uh, concerned. Dr. Rajain explains that there are four ways to treat dengue patients according to Ayurvedic medicine. Two, me two methods are targeted at boosting the patient's blood production and providing an antiviral effect. The papaya fruit and leaf juice mix mentioned earlier what I told you and juice made from pigaga leaves also known as India pennywort or Santilla asiatica. One dose of pegaga juice is the amount obtained from juicing one handful of leaves. The other two treatments are mainly applied for general antiviral properties. One is cow or goat colostrum, which can be drunk as often as desired. Colostrum is the first secretion from the animal's mammary glands before the milk comes out. The other is turmeric, which can be added to the patient's food or milk. Now thank you, please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and